Go kind of give us a, a little uh, brief background on uh, what you do and uh, the initiative that you set up. Happy to. Um, I serve as a director for INTERCEPT, the International Center for Enterprise Preparedness at New York University. Uh, focus there is basically bringing together elements of primarily global corporations around shared risks, uh, particularly operational risks that impact uh, their, uh, their global operations across their wider global footprint. Uh, we've been convening a diversity of these players over the course of the last seven, almost eight years now around risks and essentially looking for uh, elements of uh, both communications and collaboration to uh, address these shared risks. Uh, it's an element of New York University and as such we have a more or less a, a neutral ground to bring together both corporate side but also elements of government, uh, international agencies and so forth to look at all those interrela uh, interrelationships around risks and to uh, again to collaborate to address them. Obviously, this is uh, playing off the, the, the paradigm shift in today's, uh, that today's security professionals are facing, where it's uh, more of an enterprise risk management type approach that they're taking towards security about handling uh, alignment to the, uh, to the organization and building business cases for both collaborative efforts with other departments. Uh, tell us a little bit about how this new paradigm shift in security has, has come about and you know, some of the dynamics of it. We're seeing, in fact, what is the essence of a new initiative that we've been asked to form uh, at the request of a diversity of multinational corporations is essentially an extra enterprise risk management. So certainly ERM is the core, the foundation that talks about sharing across silos issues of risk within the organization. And what many of the major players have said is this is far beyond our own corporate role, uh, walls, if you will. It is about our key uh, relationships in our supply chain. It's about critical infrastructure players that we get power, communications, uh, elements of transportation, et cetera, from. And it's also about sharing with other corporations uh, basically their insights, capabilities, and resources to collectively address risks, risks that far exceed what any individual corporation uh, can undertake on their own end. And this is this global risk network uh, that is currently in development. Uh, it has uh, a diversity of players coming together to look at that wider global footprint to be able to collaborate on risks, uh, whether or not uh, we're talking about Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, Greece, US, South America, etc. Uh, the idea here, again, sharing resources, communicating around uh, uh, both existing risks, potentially risks that are developing over time, and, um, and essentially looking at uh, that, that balance of, of uh, looking at the before, during, and after of risk management and doing it on a collective basis where we can, in fact, leverage wider, wider resources. At an event like this where you are among peers and you're really treated to lesson learn, lessons learned and best practices, what are some of the, the takeaways that you've uh, come up with you know, throughout, the, throughout the conference here today? I think uh, this event in particular emphasizes really what I think is, is critical in all of this. It, it is trusting, uh, sort of sharing in a trusted environment, the ability to talk about things that maybe perhaps in a wider context we may not want to, uh, to air, but to have from professional to professional discussions about what is uh, effectively uh, really keeping them up at night, if you will, and uh, both currently as well as prospectively on the horizon. And in that, to share elements of uh, best practice uh, and also lessons learned, what's worked and what hasn't worked. And that can be done, I think, most effectively on that peer-to-peer -peer conversational uh, element that is really, I think, the core of, uh, of this event here at The Great Conversation.